This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? Everyone, grab a short and shield some new cars Just got revealed, V Max cars will enter the field with 340 HP Unreal, let's talk about what we'll see you play A small review to start your day Will GX cars just be replaced? Don't change so But the cars will grade from cars like Rillaboom to Frost Mod That's looking cool, even though B trainers we can assume That the top bags will change in the room Screw Nazball, we got Quick Ball From the basics on the table With Magnolia, we're able to make new decks I'm grateful, yeah! Episode 240, Sword and Shield, Sneak Peek Review. What's up YouTube, it's Zandos TCG here and welcome back to another episode on my channel. In this video, we are going to be reviewing the uh, Japanese Sword and Shield card that uh, already gives us some uh, info about our February set. Of course, Sword and Shield will change the mechanic, uh, that means that the player going first will not be able to use a supporter. If you want to learn more about that, there is of course uh, yeah, a video, uh, the link in the description below, so definitely check that video out. If you want to learn more about the new mechanic, the Sword and Shield uh, video games are already out and uh, we already enjoyed them so much but this time around it's time to check out the trading card game that's why uh, you are subscribed to the channel of course we're gonna be reviewing some of the cards and then then uh, I'll give you my personal opinion about uh, the uh, good cards we're not gonna go in detail about all the cards but just the good ones so uh, to start things off there is uh, two sections that I'm gonna be covering there is a, a set in Japanese uh, called sword and there's a Japanese set called shield both of them will be combined in our English set in February, so that is going to be awesome if we are finally uh, going to have, of course, the English release. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, Pokemon in here. We do see that uh, there's a lot of great new trainer cards, which we'll uh, definitely see after we've talked about the Pokemon. There's a Maractus in here, uh, which is not good. So we're, the first card I'm going to talk about here is Dalmize V. Of course, the mechanic has been changed, there's no more GX cards, those uh, uh, days are gone, so uh, GX cards are finally coming to an end. The last uh, GX card got uh, printed in Cosmic Eclipse, and now it's time to check out V cards. This is the new mechanic, V Pokemon give up two prize cards, just like GXs, but uh, they are extremely powerful, and uh, they do have a lot of HP here. This Dalmize does have 220 HP, which is insane. Also, uh, it has an attack Anchor of Rage, which dishes out 30 damage, and if uh, any of your Grass-type Pokemon were knocked out by damage from your opponent's attacks during their last turn, you can dish out 120 damage. So it's basically like Rally Way Back, or actually Rally Back attack from uh, the Shaman from Shining Legends, so it's a revenge-style attack, and like uh, being a Grass-type, could be nice because uh, and in this new mechanic of the short and shield era a lot of poison types will now become darkness types so some darkness types might of course have the grass weakness which we're gonna see uh, in this video also you can uh, also see that uh, being a grass type is not that good because you have a fire weakness and fire seems to be still very good thanks to welder reshizard and all that stuff so uh, having a fire weakness is not good but having that revenge style attack is great also giga hammer smacks 200 damage and this uh, Pokemon can use Giga Hammer during your next turn. Okay, what can we conclude? We don't have GX moves, so no overpowered moves. It's just uh, a very strong a Pokemon, a basic Pokemon 220 HP with uh, yeah, a uh, revenge style attack, which could help out in uh, some scenarios. If there's, of course, uh, the Lapras, I think that there's a great Lapras in here, which is weak to grass. Next up, we have the Grookey line. Which is actually not bad because uh, uh, thinking about it, Rillaboom has the exact same ability, sort of like uh, Vikavolt. If uh, people remember Vikavolt, you'll definitely love this. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for two grass energies and attach them to one of your Pokemon. So basically, it's like Vikavolt, but just for two uh, grass energies. It's not that versatile, so no Rayquaza scenarios, but this is gonna be a very nice uh, card to test out with a lot of grass type. Uh, Pokemon. Think about uh, Tapu Bulu back in the days was very good. If we see great grass type Pokemon that dish out a huge amount of damage, we can rely on the stage 2 uh, to just get of course the energy acceleration. Energy acceleration for grass is de definitely nice, but having a weakness to fire definitely is not. Uh, now, another Salazzle, <coughs> I think somebody at the Pokemon company just adores Salazzle so much that they have to print it like every single set. <laughs> 
There is uh, a Santi Corch, which is actually very interesting for milling. For each fire energy attached to this Pokemon, the card the top card of your opponent's deck. So there's also a, uh, a tool card out there which uh, can uh, buff up the defense for Pokemon, which could help out in this scenario. If you can keep this guy alive and you use Welder Attachment, you can like discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck, combine that with Bryson Man and Bellaman or something. You can discard a lot of cards, which is definitely gonna be interesting to test out. What else do we have here? There is a, a Kingler, which is uh, mm, not that good, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> okay, not that good, actually. Stage 1, it does have 130 HP. That's uh, the better end here. We have Lapras V, another V card here, and this is probably one of the better ones out there. Why is that? Because we're also going to be getting a Frost mod, which has energy acceleration uh, in, in the form of a Stage 1. Okay, we have Lapras V, attach a water energy from this hand to uh, this Pokemon and then you switch to the bench, which is actually not bad because, uh, yeah, the uh, Frost Mod attaches energies like Rain Dance style, but only on the bench, so that's good. And then one Ocean Loop, 210 damage and return two water energies attached to this Pokemon to your hand. Very fantastic, it does have 210 HP, so the basics are, uh, yeah, getting a huge amount of uh, HP buff. Although we, do, we did see for attack teams that attack teams do have 270, so yeah, who cares about that, right? We have Lapras VMAX, this is where things go crazy. VMAX is a new mechanic here, and uh, that means you can just uh, put it onto your v, uh, Lapras V. You have to wait a turn, I guess. And uh, there's also G Max Pump, uh, there's not a GX move, you can use it as often as you like. And you dish out 90 damage plus 30 more for the amounts of water energy attached to this Pokemon. This is going to be very, very great because uh, with Frost Mod, which we're going to talk about later, with Energy Acceleration, getting all those Water Energies attached to Lapras is going to be fantastic. Not only that, having 320 HP is insane. And I also have to check here a little bit uh, if uh, one of the Pokemon gets knocked out. Yeah, they get three prize cards. That is something you have to note down here. Lapras is the first VMAX card of the set and uh, what a huge one it is. We have great acceleration in the form of Frost Mod, which I'm going to talk about later. And also having 320 HP is just crazy. Okay, uh, Mantine can search water energies, not that we matter too much. There is uh, the uh, yeah, uh, Sobble Evolution line, the Drizzle, Drizzile, is actually very great. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may search your deck for a trainer card. Ooh, how great is that? It's a Skyla in the form of a stage 1 ability. That's already great as it is. You can search your rare candy to evolve one of your other Sobbles too, of course, and Teleon. That's gonna be fantastic to try this out. You can even get yourself a stadium card, a supporter of the turn, so it's even better like ta better than Tapu Lele because if you evolve your little Sobble, you have the access to your entire trainer line of your deck. How amazing is that? And then Anteleon, when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may search your deck for two trainer cards, reveal them and put them in the hand. Wow, you can search so many trainer cards. If you maybe want to make a mill deck, get yourself the crushing hammers and all that. It's gonna be fantastic to try out Anteleon. Getting the trainer cards from the deck has never been so easy. It also has an attack, uh, Aqua Bullet, 120 damage and 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? We have Bolton. This is actually a very nice Pokemon. It's a lightning type, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, what do we see here? If the opponent's Pokemon is a po uh, Pokemon V or Pokemon GX, so they do include both uh, types, uh, you can dish out 90 more damage. That means 180 damage on the lightning type with Electro Powers. Could be interesting, but uh, we'll see how we uh, feel about that. There is not nothing interesting about this card. Flip four coins. Yeah. Flipping coins is not that uh, relevant, but if you flip two uh, or more heads, the opponent's active is paralyzed, but with the addition of Mallow and Lana, and people running Switch and Jirachi and stuff, uh, even a skateboard can get your out of the paralysis. We have a Gengar with the Life Shaker. As often as you like during your turn, you may move one uh, damage counter from one of your Psychic Pokemon to another one of your Psychic Pokemon. So it's basically like uh, Reuniclus back in the days of Black and White, but only for Psychic type Pokemon. So uh, this can be combined maybe with Mew Mew to just heal him up completely. It's a stage two though, but moving all the damage counters around could be interesting because we do have a lot of like outrage effects in the game. Or maybe a, in, an even better strategy is to pair it with Wobbuffet V. This is also a new card here and Wobbuffet V has of course the hold on barbs switch all damage counters uh, on this pokemon with the ones of uh, your opponents active so pretty much like uh, the one from Alola Ninetales, I think it was from Guardians Rising. You can just swap all the damage counters of this Pokemon to one of the opponents. So just use uh, uh, this Pokemon on a, you know, the opponent's Pokemon that does not have any damage counters. Suck up some damage thanks to the Gengar's ability and just put it on Wobbuffet and just throw it at the opponent. Could be a light, nice fun deck. The bad thing. It is a stage 2, that Gengar, but uh, this Wobbuffet I do like. It also has the Shadow Bind, uh, the opponent can retreat, but uh, I don't think that will see much play. But uh, the Hold on Barbs looks very promising with Gengar. 
We have Poltergeist. Um, I do think. Yeah, it has Poltergeist, of course. Why not? Uh, your opponent reveals their hand. This attack dishes out 50 damage times the number of trainer cards in your opponent's hand. Pretty much like the attack of Gengar. Yeah, Poltergeist is always the attack we've known. Uh, there's a pseudo widow in here. The number of damage counter on this Pokemon, not good. Uh, it does draw two cards with double draw. There is a Claydol in here, uh, which can ex use explosion for like two fighting energies with a Karate Belt. If you're behind in prize cards, could be relevant. Don't let, get me wrong. There's gonna be a Snorlax V Max, which is gonna be very great, and uh, this Claydol just can explosion, and you can take three prize cards. How cool is that? Uh, yeah, fighting times will become relevant again. There is a great uh, grab locked. This is uh, also a new Pokemon I like from the Sword uh, Shield era. Octopus Grip. All of the defending Pokemon's attacks cost uh, two Karas energy more, and it cannot retreat. This effect stays on the defending Pokemon as long as grab lock is in the active position. So you can, yeah, even if you use it just once, you can trap the opponent and they cannot retreat. As mentioned, Mellow and Lana still in the format, switches are still in the format, uh, so I do think this is not that great, but in a format where like Mellow and Lana is not in the deck of like, let's say a lot of people don't run that anymore, Octopus Grip could be nice in like stall decks, the opponent needs two cards energy more, we've seen uh, it work before like in the, in the days with Chuckle GX that the, the opponent needs more energies, uh, you know how it goes, uh, it's always like devastating for the opponent. Okay, we have Stone Joner V, another V Pokemon. Uh, guard press, 40 damage, and during your, the opponent's next turn, any damage done to us is reduced by 20. Very great uh, for just one energy. You can buff that up with Diancy Prism Star on your bench, so 60 damage for a single energy. I do like that, but uh, the Mega Kick is just one, 150 damage flat for uh, like three fighting energies. That is just too average in my book. It does have the V Max Pokemon, Stun Joner V Max. Attach uh, fighting energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon and then heal 120 damage from that Pokemon. Combine that uh, with a healing card, for ex instance, Hyper Potion, or maybe you play uh, the uh, again Mellow and Lana. If you can heal in combination, with that attack you have energy acceleration and you also have of course crazy healing 120 damage that's not too bad it has a weakness to uh, grass so uh, you could use that uh, Dalmice V but it will not get the one hit KO because it only smacks 240 damage if we include the weakness so having these insane amounts of HP will cause the game to last a little bit longer because as we've seen with tag teams uh, tag teams do have a huge amount of HP uh, but with a lot of healing in the format right now I wonder if the games will go longer, although if you get a KO, you get 3 prize cards on the VMAX. Now, here we have Krogong. The reason why I'm talking about Krogong is that now poison types are also included in the darkness category. So, they are darkness type, that means that they can rely on dark patch and expanded. We're not going to talk about expanded on this channel, but this uh, uh, is also very interesting. Uh, that means you can uh, rely on the tools that darkness Pokemon can rely on, and that you can also hit for weakness. So, things like uh, Gengar Mimikyu are weak to darkness, now you can use poison types to just go about that. Yeah, very, very strange indeed. There's a Toxic Croak. Poison up. Uh, the amount of damage counters on the, for poison Pokemon uh, from your opponents become two instead. So you poison them two damage counters between turns as long as you have Toxic Croak with this ability up on your field. It doesn't have to be in the active position either. It has an attack which can cause the opponent to be uh, poisoned if you flip a heads. What else? Nicket. Nicket is actually a card that I uh, looked at. I was like, ooh, this is not bad. So, dudes, your opponent uh, puts their hand face down, shuffled it, uh, and puts it on the bottom of the deck. So, they shuffle their hand, put it on the bottom of the deck, and then they draw three cards. So, they are reduced to three cards. And uh, in my book, getting your entire hand whipped away and only getting three cards is very great. So, this card might see some play in some niche situations. Definitely against things like stall decks that rely on Pidgeotto drawing cards. You know how that goes. They have a uh, T-Vol, look at the opponent's hand and put one card, they find it on the bottom of the deck. I think this is not good, but that Nicket is actually not bad, I like it. Galarian Meow, Steel-type, not good. Hey, Galarian Berserker, your Metal-type Pokemon attacks do 20 more damage against your opponent's active. That is good. It's basically like the Altaria from Dragon Majesty for Dragon-types, but this is for Metal-types. You can boost the damage output of your Metal-types, and there's also gonna be a Metal patch in this set, so definitely look forward to some Metal action. I do like that they are promoting Metal-type Pokemon, but you still have the Metal Frying Pan, so you don't have to worry about the weakness too much. There's a Ferrothorn. Uh, I always remind me of like the Wild area on Short and Shield, but that Ferrothorn is just like below the bridge. <laughs> okay, not too good. We have Galarian Stunfisk. This Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon. Discard energy from the attacking Pokemon. So if you can uh, yeah, keep it alive or something, you can discard energies, maybe combine it with Crushing Hammer. Corvic Knight, uh, stage 2, evolves from the little uh, Rookity. Uh, you may discard 2 energy from this Pokemon if you do. You receive 100 damage lash. Ooh, very defensive, but only smash smashing 130 damage will not do it. 
Zacian V, probably the best card of the set, if I had to guess, uh, because it has energy acceleration. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and attach any number of metal energy you find there to this Pokemon. Put the other cards in your hand, uh, you can even save the other cards, so basically if you don't get any energies, you can draw three cards. Insane. And if you use this ability, your turn ends. So in the fir first turn of the game, where you cannot attack either way, this is gonna be fantastic. Definitely uh, be careful of the uh, fire weakness, but uh, 230 damage also not bad. Let's say you smack 230 damage, they heal 120 damage, and then you smack 230 again. Very great. It does have the uh, restriction. This Pokemon cannot use this attack during your next turn, but as we've seen with Boswell Jax and other Pokemon before it, you can just use a switch and you're off. Definitely uh, worth considering and making an attack around. So Zacian V. I love that you can just draw three cards. Then Sincino. Everybody loses their mind with Sincino thanks to like, oh, it's just like Zoroark. Not really, it, uh, is not ha it doesn't have the survivability like Zoroark, that's for one, but it does have the same effect, just discard a card from hand then draw two cards. Uh, luckily we have Quick Ball and of course the new Evolution uh, item card which searches for Evolution Pokemon, so this might see play, it's uh, in the same category like Zipstrika or uh, other Pokemon like, like One Prizer that draw cards, things like Macargo or uh, maybe Pidgeotto, so uh, same category but not that strong, so you cannot like spam uh, healing cards on this because it will uh, just see the discard very quickly. Okay, we have Rookity, we have uh, Corvic uh, Squire or whatever it's pronounced, not too great here. Then we have uh, Cramorant V, yeah, another V card, very interesting. It has a uh, Searcher deck for two cards and put them in the hands, pretty much like a uh, Hoopa GX. And then we have uh, Split Shoot for three cards energies, very splashable in every uh, deck like uh, that has energy acceleration. Uh, maybe you're playing it in a Rillaboo deck, maybe in a Malamar deck, maybe in a Welder based deck, you, you can see the point, right? Discard all energies from this Pokemon, then you snipe 160 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So pretty much, this card is designed to eat up the Dene's. The Dene has 160 HP, or maybe to finish off the job, let's say you smack damage on a VMAX Pokemon, it retreats to the bench, it's scared, and then BAM! 160 damage uh, later down in the game. Very nice, uh, for 3 cards energy, sniping 160 damage. Very similar like Venom Shot, but this guy, time you have to discard all energies, but it's Carlos energy, so very interesting. We have Evolution Instance, search your deck for an Evolution card, very amazing card, we'll see a lot of play. Definitely boost the Evolution Pokemon, you can like use this, put it in the hand, it's, it's basically like the superior version of Evo Soda, because now you can put it in the hand, you can search for your stage 2, in combination with Rare Candy, it's gonna be fantastic. Hyper Potion. It's like two super potions in one. Uh, you uh, heal 120 damage, but you have to discard two energies from that Pokemon. So uh, if you have like uh, ways to get back your energies and say uh, in the form of like Malamar, this is not a problem. So uh, Hyper Potion, I like the card. Normal Rod, shuffle up to two Pokemon and up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile in your deck. Fantastic recovery. This is what we needed. So uh, we had Rescue Stretcher, we had Super Rod. This is actually uh, like a form of like Brax Grid, but uh, on the lower end. But it's an item card, so very, very, very great. That's all I can say about it. Rotom Bike, only great on the first turns of the game. After using this card, uh, this card your turn ends. Uh, draw cards until you have six in the hand. As mentioned, only good uh, on the very first turns of the game. Otherwise, your turn ends or on the decks that do not attack. Big Amulet, this Pokemon this card is attached to, uh, gets 30 extra HP. I do think that Choice Helmet uh, is a little bit better, but Choice Helmet only protects, uh, of course, against GX. So uh, this gets you 30 extra HP and also works on like uh, anything. We have Balloon. This is like a float stone, but then uh, a less version. You, uh, the retreat cost becomes too less. Uh, definitely uh, a very great card since float stone was like OP in almost every deck. Maybe you can compare this with like a Dusk Main Dawnwings Necrozma, so you can have free retreat on everything. But uh, the better version of this is, of course, Skateboard if you're still running Jirachi. If you're not joining Jirachi and you want some uh, free retreat, Balloon is your way. Lumberry uh, at the end. Uh, of either player's turn, this Pokemon is affected by special condition. Heal all special condition. Okay, you can heal uh, the special condition. And then I think you do have to discard the card. Next, Professor's Research, aka Professor Magnolia. It's similar like uh, Sycamore back in the day, so you can discard your hand and draw six. Uh, actually, draw seven. So, very, very insane uh, aggressive draw supporter in the form. Uh, in combination with the data, you're definitely going fast through your deck like the ways we've known. We have uh, Bead, uh, or Bede, or however it's pronounced, attach a basic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. We've seen cards like this with like the Mass Ro Royale and older cards. I don't think this will be played very often, but it's universal, so maybe people will try uh, things out. Next up, the Shield. 
Uh, we're gonna go a little bit quicker since uh, most of these cards are not too great. We have here uh, Or Beetle. Uh, once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and put them back in any order. So basically, an ability that has, of course, the Chip Chip Ice Axe formed into the ability. So I do see it working out with Alolan Exeggutor and Rallet Deck Team GX so you can get this up quickly. And then you have, of course, a way to just reset Sam and get rid of the opponent's hand thanks to uh, Balaban and Bryson Man. And then you go with a Bugs Raider. Maybe this will work out. Who knows? Okay. What else? <clears throat> uh, yeah, Glossy Fleur. Uh, search your deck for three basic Pokemon and put them on your bench. We've seen them be before with like the Dunsparce from the Celestial Storm. We have uh, three basic. Uh, yeah, this uh, Eldegoss. It's a stage one, but I can attach three grass energies from uh, your deck immediately to your Pokemon any way you like. I do love Rillaboom a little bit more since you can do that every turn. Torkoal V. Discard a top card of your deck if that card is a fire energy. 180 damage. Is it worth it to put this uh, fire Pokemon into your fire deck? If you run a lot of fire decks, like in the form of Reshizar with 18 fire energies, I do think it's worth it. 180 damage for 3 energies is not too bad, since it smacks a lot of uh, things down. And also Steam Crash, 120 damage. Discard 2 energies from your opponent's active. This is also not too bad. Having the discard effect, so maybe Torkoal will find its way in some fire decks. We have Cinderace. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from the bench to the active spot, just in the way like Tapu Koko did, you can just attach two fire engines from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So Cinderace builds itself up and also smacks 190 damage. It does have to discard two energies to do that, but 190 damage is definitely great. What else? There's a Sea King which loves to flip coins and for each heads, discard energies from the opponent's active Pokemon. Nah. Poison point, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, this Quailfish, and is damaged by your opponent's attacks, it is poison. Very synergizable with uh, the Toxic Croak if you manage to get that up. Also, for a simple Carlos energy, you smack 100. Uh, not, not 170, what am I saying? Only 70 damage uh, if it's poison for Carlos energy, it's not too bad. Dreadnought, this attack uh, dishes out 30 damage, more for each uh, Carlos energy and your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. Ooh, interesting. And then 130 damage, the opponent cannot retreat during your their, their next turn. Then we have Frostmod, the hero for water type Pokemon and the destroyer of Welder base decks. It is Frostmod, one dance of an dance of ice and snow. Wow, it's pretty much like a ring dance. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a water energy from your hand to one of your bench water type Pokemon. It's a stage one. We had this effect like uh do you remember like Blastoise from Expanded? Yeah, how cool is that? This time around. This is going to be amazing for water type Pokemon. Like the Lapras becomes so much better thanks to this. We have a Lantern, which is not good. We have more Peko V. Uh, this is like a mini Jet Punch. Spark, 20 damage to the active, 20 damage to one of the opponent's bench Pokemon. And then we also have uh, 150 damage discarded energy from this Pokemon and uh, then switch it to the bench. So it goes away pretty much like uh, Raichu did, but no paralyzation this time around. Uh, what else? Uh, more Pico V Max, uh, Max Discharge. This attack is 20 damage to uh, each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay, so spreading a little bit of damage. So Tapu Koko smacked in with this card, uh, 300 damage, uh, 300 HP. The bad thing is that it has a fighting weakness, and that means it shares the weakness with Snorlax, and I do think Snorlax will be great. Galarian Rapidash has, of course, an ability that makes sure that uh, none of your Pokemon cannot be affected by special conditions. That's a very interesting. If they are affected by special conditions, you can heal that. Musharna, another card I wanted to talk about. Uh, here is ND, NDD V. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon. As we've seen before with Shaman's and uh, the Celosaur decks, uh, if you can just get a lot of these cards out, like uh, like say, let's say you get four of the NDDs out, we still have Mysterious Treasure, you can heal 80 damage from your active Pokemon every single turn. How amazing is that? Also, just thinking about it, uh, the Great Catcher will not work on V Pokemon. Ooh, that makes it interesting, right? If we don't get an extra gusting effect, you can just heal your active and it's gonna be fantastic. Psychic also can smack some damage. The amount of energy attached to your opponent's active, definitely good against Lapras based decks. Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, they work together but are not too great. Uh, what else do we have? We have a Rhydon, Rhyperior. Uh, 60 damage to each bench Pokemon with any damage counters on them. Okay, not great actually. It does have a huge amount of HP. Stage 2s are now getting 190 HP. So the power creep is still going on here. Whoa, we have Coil uh, of the Sandakana. During your next turn, this Pokemon's attack dish out 120 damage more. Unless they just gust one of your bench Pokemon, then it goes away. <laughs> We have Galarian Zigzagoon. Uh, when you put this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. Pretty much like a snap bite, like of the uh, gold bats and stuff. 
interesting to see you can just smack a bunch of them down and just get of course that damage counter that could be crucial let's say for instance Reshizard smacks uh, let's say it smacks 230 damage you smack down one Galarian Zigzagoon and then out of nowhere you can just get the one hit KO on a Picaram not that Picaram is being too popular but as just a, a little example of how good this Galarian Zigzagoon can be we have Galarian Upsagoon when you play this card uh, from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Ooh, okay, so the Galarian Linoon does not do that, but the Upsagoon also smacks three damage counters. Maybe this could be a deck. I'm just saying, Crobat's uh, uh, played during its days, and definitely this will also do its job. Sableye V, uh, put a training card from your discard pile uh, to the hand, so pretty much like the Sableye we got used to. So get your uh, Crushing Hammers back, get your uh, crazy disruptive items get back. Although, or Oranguru in that instance is way better. We have uh, Mad Nail, this is out uh, 10 damage plus 60 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So a finisher if the opponent already has damage counters. Drapion, just an average a rare card that you don't want to pull. Okay, what do I all see here? My wild, same story. By Sharp, this stack, this out 30 more for each pound yard on your bench. Mm, that means maximum, if you evolve from Ditto, that's a maximum of uh, four pound yards. Okay, uh, that means 150 damage for a simple Carlos energy could be interesting. We still have, of course, the uh, the new old rod, or actually the uh, good rod, or whatever it's called. The new uh, recovery method could be interesting. Okay, <clears throat> and we can also buff up the damage with, of course, that uh, other Pokemon. Uh, Copperaja, we have this card here, 220 damage, and we do have Metal Patch. So if there are eight or more damage counters on this Pokemon, this attack does nothing. But still, 220 damage on a stage 1 that has 190 HP could see some play. Zamazenta, prevent all damage from attacks uh, done to this Pokemon by uh, attacks from your opponent's Pokemon VMAX. Okay, why is this bad? Because VMAX do always have a stage below it. That means if you see Zamazenta, you don't have to get out your VMAX. Although, could see play a VMAX to see a huge amount of play. Okay, also smacks 130 damage. Zation is probably way better. Snorlax V. You can heal damage from this Pokemon, uh, the same amount of damage you dealt to the opponent. So if you uh, smack like damage buffers, you can also heal that amount, uh, 170 damage. And then uh, of course the Snorlax V Max, what everybody got crazed about, uh, 340 HP. This attack dishes out 30 damage for each of your bench Pokemon. Okay, you have five bench Pokemon, 150 with 60 damage, at 210 for three Carlos energies. That's that's very good. Definitely play this with a lot of healing cards. Maybe you play it with Welder. Maybe people will try it out on Rillaboo, who knows, Rillaboo might be a little bit slow in the format, but who knows. We have a Noctowl, choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, which of course is second attack. Your opponent shuffles that Pokemon and all cards that attached it into their deck. And then you shuffle this Pokemon and all cards that attached it into their deck. So you can get rid of a threat on the opponent's bench, could be interesting. Oranguru is here to draw some cards here. Once during your turn, you may swap one of your cards in the hand with the top card of your deck. Could be interesting, let's say you're playing Torkoal, you want the fire energy on top, you just put a fire energy on top and you swap it with the that. Yeah, it could be seeing some play here. Oranguru is very great. Wooloo, one of my favorite Pokemon from the new uh, Sword and Shield era. Cotton Guard, uh, yeah, this is an interesting attack because uh, during your next turn, you lose 30 damage less, but it's just not too great actually. Quick Ball, that's where it's at. Probably better than Nest Ball. Uh, you can use this card only if you discard a card from the hand. So it has synergy with Mewtwo, it has synergy with Malamar, maybe with other cards that want stuff in the discard. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon, you reveal it, and then you put it into your hand. So you can even search your Dedenne out. That's why it's so good. It's broken. You can uh, have boosted. Uh, you can now search your uh, little Snorns. If I had that at the World Championships, things would have turned out a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, searching out your non Jax is gonna be fantastic. Just uh, trying out some rogue decks. Quick Ball is great for the entire format. It's just fantastic. Searching your salva basic Pokemon and put them in the hand. You have all the effects that come into play when you smack them down. Fantastic. Rare Candy gets a reprint and then Metal Saucer, aka Metal Patch. Attach a Metal Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Metal Pokemon. So get out your Lucario's and Metal Metals. You can now, of course, use your GX move on the second turn. Bam! Fantastic. Metal Saucer is uh, gonna help out. Definitely Zacian. Let's say you use Jason and uh, get two metal saucers and uh, attach up the turn 230 on the second turn or actually maybe on the first turn if you go second. Insane. Citrus Berry, uh, at the end of the player's turn, if this Pokemon has at least three or more damage counters, you can activate the Cyrus Berry, or actually it activates by itself and you heal 30 damage from that Pokemon. Then discard this card. Vital Ban, make sure you can dish out 10 extra damage to your opponent's active. It's also going to see play uh, to uh, heal, actually get uh, extra damage off. We've seen it before working out. Uh, maybe uh, with this combined with Galarian Zigzagoon and some stuff, might 
be a, a weird fun deck to uh, boost the damage output to insane levels to get one hit KOs, but we'll see. Then Lucky Egg. Did not saw a lot of play, I think it was released during the era of uh, Platinum cards, I think. Lucky Egg. This Pokemon, this card is attached to, is knocked out by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon. Draw cards until you have 7 in the hand. Uh, at the time it was not good, but this time around, I think it could be good. Because, uh, let's say, you, all, you are always scared to knock out a huge Pokemon, a VMAX or a Tag Team. And then uh, you know you're gonna get a reset stab. Well, if you have a Lucky Egg on your active Pokemon, your opponent even has to gust around you in order to just stab you to a low hand size. Because if they knock you out, you can draw cards until you have 7 in hand. I wonder if Lucky Egg will see play. Team Yal Grunt is... Uh, Returning an energy from your opponent's uh, Pokemon to their hand. It's slowing them down. It's not like uh, maybe it could see play if you like use uh, Lieutenant Search, Team Yael Grunt, and then uh, Bellaman and Bryson Man. Or actually, nah, not that. Jesse and James, so you can discard it. Who knows? But uh, it's not discarding, so it's not like Team Flare Grunt. Marty, both players shuffle their hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, face down. Yeah, okay, they shuffle their hand and then they put them on the bottom of the deck. Then you draw 5 cards and the opponent draws 4 cards. So it's basically like the superior version of Judge since you can draw 5. So it's great uh, to refresh your hand and the opponent only gets 4. And also gets rid of all their cards in their current hand and they are at the bottom of the deck. And then Aurora Energy, the, the tool card that Mewtwo desperately needs. And that is uh, of course this card. In order to play it you have to discard one of your Pokemon. So synergable with uh, the Mew Mew version. Just get rid of like uh, a Charizard GX. Put him in the discard pile. And then... This uh, provides all types of energies at the same time. So basically like Rainbow Energy without the downside of the one damage counter. So very great card from Mew Mew. And that's it. The review of the Sword and Shield uh, Japanese set that just got revealed. I'm so excited to just uh, yeah prepare ourselves for the February set. Sword and Shield meta is going to be real. I wonder if uh, going uh, first and uh, not being able to play a supporter will be a huge uh, change in the format. We'll see how uh, we feel about that. My personal favorite uh, card of the set is Quick Ball. Let me know what you think about this particular set. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, curious to hear your opinion uh, down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to mount the like button. Subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.